just messing around um trying to not look at the fingerboard that's a great way to practice um man thank you guys so much for being here guthrie chap coming to you here from my house in east nashville tennessee as usual um man exciting uh week been a lot of stuff going on lots of um lots of preparation for the next year or two to come trying to really get this thing dialed in to where looking at working with this trio more, doing more clinics and live performances with the trio around the country and hopefully around the world, gearing up to do all the John Oates stuff, which is upon us rapidly, uh, the Northeast, going to California a bunch, doing some artist works updates, um, some exciting stuff going on. My mom and dad get here literally any minute, and so uh, this won't be a long video, but uh, of course I always say that, it ends up being, being longer than I think, but um try, i thought i'd so i'm looking forward to hanging with my parents this is going to be awesome they're going to be here i'm playing monday night they'll be here till about tuesday so looking forward to that uh i've decided to uh change colors on you here and get the hardtail dano caster strat which means just no vibrato and um, i love this color you can tell this guitar has a real kind of thick sound very warm and fat sound um and so just a pleasure to play this thing um, so I'm kind of just going for it on that, on that intro bit. I just, you know, started playing and, and I, obviously there's, um, there's no extra charge for mistakes, but, um, man, that's part of, of, of it is just jumping in and not trying to take this stuff too seriously. It's music. Nobody's going to get hurt here. Um, I look at this very much in the spirit of music, the true spirit of making music. And, um, I'm definitely not educated as far as formal education uh, in general or music education. And so nobody's ever asked me if I had a degree uh, in music. It's all about if you can, if you can get there, then you're good. I mean, it, it's, not how you, it's not how you get there as long as you get there. So again, man, I like to focus on learning your chord shapes up the neck, focusing in on those key uh, chord tones. And the rest comes together. I mean, I know I sound like a broken record preaching about this stuff, but man, this is what really works. And I know you hear that on YouTube. And that brings me to a good point. I'm going to throw this out there and I'm probably going to piss some people off, but uh, I, I really don't care because man, um, I'm at the point now where I know that the guys that we look up to and that are dear friends of mine and some of my favorite guitar players on the planet in this town of Nashville, Tennessee, guitar town where people are making a great living playing the guitar here. It's serious business. These guys are professionals. Uncle Larry, Kenny Greenberg, uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. Jack Pearson, guys that are my favorites on the planet. Pat Burgess and Tommy Emmanuel. You know, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And so I know from playing with Jerry Douglas for seven years and working in the studio, and I just played on a Chet Atkins tribute record that's going to be incredible this year with... with um, uh, Tommy and um, uh, Vince Gill, Brad Paisley, Eric Clapton's going to be on it. So things are going good. My point of that is, is uh, this is what m me and my peers use to navigate our way through the music industry and, the, and all the different scenarios that we're thrown at and so uh, thrown into. And so it's not about learning a scale and playing that over a chord. It's about knowing the fundamentals and being able to get away from it and truly improvise and make music. I've been having a lot of great creative conversations with young artists, uh, people in the film industry, um, 
uh, all week long, there's been a lot of amazing milk, uh, a, a lot of uh, amazing meetings. And so uh, acr across the board, I'm fired up create, uh, creatively and I'm, I'm inspired and motivated more than I've ever been in my life because, man, there's just a lot of great energy going on right now and everybody's coming back to life. The weather's getting great, all that shit. And so what I'm saying is, is it's about learning these core fundamentals and being able to then break away and truly make music. It's about the song. It's about what tonal foundation is going on under the lead guitar playing that we all want to be able to do. And that's the key to making music. It's not learning a scale that's only going to work in one situation, maybe on one song. It's, it's about being comfortable and being able to hear and feel music. And um, that's the, the no bullshit part of this. And so leading me to my next point, the reason why guys like me are sitting here using an iPhone uh, and a little amp uh, and and not having a full video production and, and doing Pro Tools and having the guitar amp mic'd and doing the video and syncing the audio to the video and all that stuff is because we are professional musicians and we're playing and we're cultivating projects and we're recording and we're touring and we're doing all this stuff. The people that are sitting there, and of course there's, there's exceptions to this rule and there's a lot of friends of mine that are doing this. But the guys that have time to sit at home every day, all day long, and do a full production video with edited, beautiful shot uh, audio and video, those guys aren't playing guitar for a living out in the world every day. And so there's guys on YouTube that know exactly what they're doing and you should listen to them. And there's a lot of guys out there that are just, they don't have the experience. And so I'm being brutally honest with you guys, man, because I'm, this is serious business. You know, music is meant to be treated with the utmost respect, but not overthought to death and where you're taking a light up, the life out, out of it. And so, man, again, learn your chord shapes, learn the cage system, learn the chord and the information around it. I'm going to grab a pick. Um, I can't stress this enough. I'm teaching so much now that... I mean, I am a firm believer that you have to, if you want to be able to play up the neck and go from one chord to the next. Playing through these chords, you have to have these fundamentals. E shape, D shape, C shape, A shape, G shape. Learn the chord, learn the information around there, and the world of the guitar is going to open up. And 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 look, here's another thing. I'm I know I'm coming in kind of hot today. It's been a, like I said, it's been a very exciting week. And so um, this is what I'm going to tell you. So you know you hear a lot of hey, what can I do for my right hand? Well, instead of just doing something like this. That's not music. This isn't music. Or whatever exercises you know. That's not music. That's an exercise. And so why not let all this stuff come up together and play over a chord? simple or complex it is try to do something that sounds like music because if you do that then your right hand your left hand your your pick sound your technique your 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 the sound of your left hand the ideas the musicality the ear the feel everything is going to come up together as it should and so that would be like if i went to the gym and just worked out my my bicep or my, or whatever for you know for six months and then I went, okay, after that six months, I'm going to switch to the other arm. I'd look like a, a complete lunatic. And so more than I already do. And so it's about that. It's about letting this stuff all come up together. So pick a sound, A minor. Let that sink in for a minute before you start noodling around and end up in the wrong key or something like that. Really focus on what this stuff sounds like if you want to get better. If you don't, then that's totally up to you and nobody's going to get hurt and you guys 
might not play the guitar for a living. And so the for me, the guitar and all this stuff is at the top of the list because this is the world I live in. To a lot of people, the, playing the guitar and making music is down, you know, 10, 15 on the list after their job and the family and all the things that, that are amazing. And that's great too. But for me, I get heated and passionate about this stuff because this is my life and this is what makes me happy and what moves me. So try to practice with a purpose. I know this is kind of a, a different video and I'm getting real with you on some things here. Um, but, um, but I appreciate it and I appreciate you listening to me. Thanks for, uh, letting me kind of vent a little bit on some of these hot topics. Um, and, um, thanks for the support. Check out the links below, check out private lessons, check out artist works going off to do a bunch of updates in Napa with those guys in April. I think it's April. Yeah. Early April. And so, uh, gonna, gonna freshen up the curriculum, so to speak. And, um, add some new concepts that I've been uh, putting together for the past couple years and um, look forward to seeing you guys down the road real soon. Again, thank you so much for the uh, support. Got nothing but love. It's a, it's a positive time. Uh, COVID is ramping down. I promised I wasn't going to bring that up, but you know, Hey, it's great, right? So more music to come, more guitar to come. See you guys down the road. going to hang with my folks this weekend. I'll try to sneak in a video in the next day or so. And um, just thanks.